How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Benji's Loves and Whatnots. We are back at it again for another episode. Today's little video is going to be a little bit different. A little bit different than what we usually do. It's going to be like the video that we did two videos back. But this one is going to be, as you would say, looking at the first video that we uploaded onto YouTube and more of the latest video to do a quick little comparison. So without further ado guys, Let's go! So as you guys can see, Stiglitz Gold Mine Town. This thing was uploaded about five years ago. Can't bloody well believe it. Five years ago. Mind you, it's probably like the 73rd video that I uploaded. Uh, some silly scallywag decided to delete, as you would say, 70 odd videos before he knew how to edit. So. Anyways guys, we're going to quickly get this video underway and everything else in between. So, without further ado guys, let's get watching. Hey there everybody, welcome back for another video. Howdy guys, <laughs> always the case. Alright, now... We are out at the 1850s Striglitz. It's an old gold mine that used to run here from 1850 to 1966. Basically ran for a decent span of a nearly 100 years. And uh, as you can see behind me, nothing but trees over there. But where I'm walking to now is the old courthouse. So without further ado guys, let's go. Geez, I used to say, let's go back in the day, too. That right there, I believe, is the old uh, water pipe. There you go. Well, guys, that was the 1857 Stiglitz Courthouse. As you would have seen with some of the um, footage there, some um, artifacts from around town and uh, some of the big uh, bellows for the furnaces and so on. It, uh, it's certainly interesting to come back here. I've come here, come here the other day, nothing was open so I thought I'd come back and bring my video camera and you guys with me. So there's a couple of little houses around that we're going to go and have a look at so let's go and have a look. admit <laughs> looking back on this video is like wow mind you this is when I first started doing proper editing uh, doing all the cut scenes and everything else in between and uh, I tell you what <laughs> five years ago I had no idea what I was doing not an idea but now I still have no idea but it has improved somewhat but we'll continuously watch this so if you guys want to pause this and not listen to me yabber by all means do so now that I'm looking back on this I realize that uh, Probably a little bit more informational than what I usually do now with a lot of the videos that we do. Back then, five years ago, <laughs> I had the urge, the itch, to go out and do stuff. But now, too damn lazy to get off my own backside to do anything. Love that little corrugation uh, water way drain. That is one of my favourite styles of thing. Especially when we go to these 1850 styles areas. Yes, there's a lot of houses that aren't there anymore. Uh, there's still quite a few foundations. Thank you. 
lot of these houses are still lived in by people so we couldn't exactly go in and have a look or anything like that don't want to get shot and uh, didn't want to trans trespass so it would have been nice to go and have a look at some of these houses to see what they had still inside Sounded like I was trying to talk there for some ungodly reason. I don't know. I don't have the original footage anymore, so I can't really go back and listen to it. Those little things in the ground there, uh, you guys would have seen at the start of the video when I was looking down that grate I saw all those sticks. That used to be the old ovens for the bakeries. It's uh, very interesting to see that uh, they had these things underground. And I suppose having the heat come up through the ovens on top would have been a little bit more beneficial. But still, it's amazing to see uh, old videos uh, with those particular things. I would honestly love to go back and uh, have another squiz, uh, take a few photographs, as it were. Hmm. This one's full of water. The other one that was down over there was um, full of rocks branches and all that sort of stuff look like people have been just chucking in there willy nilly hmm. it's interesting to see two ovens two different scenarios Oh my goodness, what was I thinking of putting that lightning in there? <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm going to be honest with you guys, it's so embarrassing looking back on these things. But, in saying that, it's good to see where we were many years ago to where we are now. It's just, it's amazing to see. Well guys, it's almost coming to an end of the adventure and I'm about to show you guys half the reason why I decided to come up here to Striglitz. Stiglitz it's just in front of me guys so just bear with me for a sec Jesus, even back then I was huffy puffy and I was half the size of what I am now that just goes to prove something. I'm a very unfit, unhealthy man. If you want to call me a man. What you're about to see isn't much, but it is mainly a minefield, a gold field. This is exactly what I love about outdoors, guys. There. It is. 
far as the eye can see, except for like right here, <laughs> all down there. But the main reason why I came here is because of the history of Stiglitz down there, the old mining town, established 1850 on private property of the von Stiglitz family. Miners didn't ask permission to come out here, cause a bit of a ruckus. That all all went well up until excuse me, up until the town closed down in about 1960, as you would have seen on the St Paul's Church last uh, gathering was I think it was like the third of March. 1966 so basically that was the last time that was really the last time that the town really ran uh, from I think a couple of 200 people thereabouts from 1850 to 2015 steadily declined down to only eight people <coughs> Basically, there's remnants of the old bakeries that used to be there. Uh, as you would have seen behind the church, some of the old remnants of the mine shafts. Uh, went for a little cruise just up the road. Couldn't find any openings like the actual entrance to the mines. So, you know, I think that part of the little venture is going to be a little bit of a bust, I think. Um, so, I'm gonna go head back to the car which is just down there and um, there is a graveyard that I want to go and say on the way out but I think we'll make another video of that I'm not too sure how big this video is gonna be I don't want to make it too big bore you guys too too much so until that video comes guys keep it easy oh my goodness oh my damn goodness I don't know about you guys but Oh my goodness, that right there, I will admit, is somewhat bloody embarrassing. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> but mind you, I'll tell you a little story before you watch another video. Is uh, when I first started doing YouTube. It'd probably be going back about six years ago now. I basically used a mobile phone. Uh, I had an A36 Samsung, which is basically a phone that was just pure glass. One little bump on that thing would break the thing, which eventually did, don't get me wrong. But uh, I used to make solid 45 minute videos of walking up through Lady Dog National Park and whatever else absolutely no cuts and everything else in between and uh, I look back on it now and I think to myself we've come a long way since uh, since then but still it's one of those sorts of things that uh, it's good to look back and reminisce and everything else in between. Sometimes I like to look back on these old videos and realize how amateur I was when it came to video editing and filming and everything else in between and uh, I look at myself now and I still think I'm very much an amateur at uh, filming and everything else in between especially with the video quality and all that as you guys will see in this next video uh, basically, it is the latest one with the uh, the uh, Aurora Australis, the lights that we saw the other night. So, this video is something that we um, filmed a couple of days ago, and basically put up yesterday. So, yeah, we'll get started on this one now, and uh, everything else in between, and go from there.
Hey, how's it going, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Bingy's Vlogs and Whatnot. We are back at it again for another episode. It is a very foggy Saturday morning. It is currently 9.38 in the morning, and we are about ready to go for work for another day that I was supposed to have off, but uh, ended up having to come in to work for Saturday. But what can you do? There's not much that we can do at this point, but just to suck it up and go and do the job for the day. So what we'll do is we'll go in, do our five hour shift, and then head off home. It's a 10 till three, better than 12 till five, so I suppose have a couple hours this afternoon and then get back into routine for the following, uh, following week of onslaught. So without further ado guys, let's go. So it is also gonna be a very busy week this week. So I've got work today, tomorrow, uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I'm going to need to learn how to clean the corner of my gob because uh, that is embarrassing to see that little bit of uh, stuff in the corner of the gob. So I'll be uh, doing that from now on in. I know I've probably got a little bit there now, but uh, yeah, well, we've got to learn to uh, clean ourselves up a little bit proper before we start filming videos because uh, I don't think you guys really want to see that, especially when someone is talking because they off Thursday or Friday, something like that. And then back to just constant bloody work. It's a pain in the backside, but what can you do? I was certainly hoping that uh, we'd be able to have at least one or two days off during the week to, as you would say, relax. But I'll have a talk to the boss on Monday to see what the deal is with Tuesday because he did specify that uh, Tuesdays are a no-go for the time being, but it looks like Tuesday is uh, scheduled on. But either way, I'll have a talk to him either way. And just like that, we're done. That uh, wasn't too bad, but mind you, I am absolutely friggin' naked right now. Uh, just can't wait to get home. Not too far away, to be honest. I'm probably, what, five minutes away from home, so not too bad. Thought I'd just come past Hungry Jack's to get a quick bite to eat because we didn't get to uh, eat lunch today. So, quick bite to he eat here and then get home and have a bit of a lie down because I fucking well need it. I'll tell you what, it's so good. <clears throat> I don't usually swear. I don't know if that's on or off. I do apologise. But, anyways, I don't usually swear, but when I'm really, really tired, all the care in the world goes out the window and uh, yeah that's when I basically start dropping the f-bomb in other words and uh, especially when we're really tired as well uh, ugh, I said that already oh my god I didn't have a very busy day today so there's no excuse for me to be as you would say a bit of a dipstick I am a very silly boy sometimes I forget what I said like two minutes ago or 30 seconds ago in this case. Good to be bloody home right now. I'm so damn exhausted. In all honesty, I'd much prefer to be on the road than anything else at this point. But looks like all of this week coming up from Sunday to uh, Sunday, I'll be basically uh, on the damn road, which I don't mind. I much prefer to be on the road than the uh, shop on the floor. Well, that's just my personal preference. But we'll see how things go in the next couple of days. Oh. 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 I don't know about you guys, but that is another amateur mistake right there. Or even the camera on autofocus, which I should have turned to um, manual focus at least that way you guys would have seen a better quality of the uh, lights instead of it focusing in and out that was a very amateur move on my behalf don't get me wrong the camera does all does all right in the dark especially if there's a bit of light as you guys can see but still could have done much better that is the like aurora borealis I've never ever in my life have seen that. Not especially here. Wow. Look at those colours, guys. 
I have never seen that, guys. Holy crap. There's red, there's green. I've never, ever, ever in my life seen that. That is so cool. <laughs> that is amazing. That is absolutely phenomenal. I'm going to sit out here for a little bit longer. So it looks like there's the majority of it's gone now, guys. There is still a little bit of red over there. There is a little bit of green still. If we pan over to the right, there's a little bit of a uh, little bit of red and green over there. I've managed to take some photos of it all. I'm very, very friggin' happy about that. Nonetheless, guys, I am ecstatic, as you would say. In the 34 and a half years that I've been on this earth, I've never once seen the Australis Borealis in its full glory. Australis Borealis. Here I go again with uh, not doing my research. Aurora Australis is what it was, not Australis Borealis. Uh, Borealis is in Iceland, or Ireland, Iceland I believe. But, I digress guys, I still have my moments where it's quite the amateur shit show. See the red and green is just phenomenal in itself. I'm very happy that I had the opportunity to actually see that in itself has energized me so big time this time around. I love astronomy and as you guys would have seen with those colors, that is exactly the reason why we love astronomy. That atmospheric anomaly or disturbance is the exact reason why. I will be uploading those up onto my Instagram so go and have a look I do have the links in my bio if you guys want to go and see that in its full glory hopefully it's not too blurry but either way I am extremely ecstatic about that nonetheless oh, I don't know about you guys but that's enough excitement for uh, for me for one night I'm gonna go and have a bit of a shut eye it is about 10.30 so we do need to get a bit of, uh, a bit of sleep tonight because uh, we're back on the road tomorrow as it were for a uh, Sunday afternoon, Sunday morning, weekend, whatever you want to damn well call it. So, I'm going to go and double check everything out here to make sure that everything is locked up. And then we'll be, uh, as you would say, going to bed. Because, uh, yeah, I need some shut eye. Uh, after today's little effort, I'm, uh, as you would say, a little knackered. So get some sleep and everything else in between so I'll see you guys first thing in the morning uh, good morning everybody Sunday morning is here after all the excitement last night we are pretty bloody tired this morning I will admit I think I'm gonna need to get myself a V or a very 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 strong coffee either or uh, this week's gonna be a long week seven days Seven days of work. I suppose it could be a lot worse. I could have uh, 365 days of not working. And uh, not being able to pay the bills and everything else in between. So I've got trusty lawn today, which is good. No floor. It doesn't look like I've got the floor for the next couple of weeks. Which is a bonus. Like, I don't mind working the floor. But, yeah, it's just... Ugh. I'm way too damn tired for this. So I've got trusty old lawn this morning. It should be a relatively quick and easy little job. There's going to be no deliveries or anything down in lawn, which is good. Just got to deliver what we got to deliver down to lawn, and then we should be able to just come straight back here without any hitches. That's what one is hoping. I did get back here out for a little bit this morning, you know, for about half an hour or so, just so that uh, she doesn't sulk later on today. Uh, she didn't really like it that much to be honest I don't blame her I don't like it very much either 
much prefer to have a nice, decent sleep in for the, for the mornings because of daylight. I am so damn tired. I'm so damn tired right now. It's only 6.30 in the morning, but still, it's, uh, yeah, I much prefer to be in bed. As you guys can see, there is no more southern lights. So that's all right. We did enjoy ourselves last night. It was uh, quite a spectacular view, to say the least. Well, you've had it looks relatively quiet on the roads at the moment. So that looks like it's going to be another bonus for us today, which is good. So not really many cars up there. There's only one car just there going to McAdee's. He's going to probably get himself a coffee. No, it looks like he's going to the fuel station. But still, no, no, he's getting a copy. <laughs> going through the drive-through. But as you can see, there's not many cars around at all. I'm just hoping that uh, on the way down and fro, everything's going to be smoothly for today. All I can say is I just want it to be home as soon as possible, so I can have a lie down and everything else in between. But there is a few things that we need to get done around the house. Got a water mum's garden for her. And it did rain a couple of nights ago, so. That would have helped, but I still got to go out and uh, give the garden a bit of a water, just so that everything is a okay. As you guys can tell with this video, <clears throat> it's a little bit better, but I still need to improve on it. Something shocking. There's a lot more cuts in it, and everything else in between. It still uh, needs improving, as I said, and uh, hopefully we will get better in the next couple of years or sooner rather than later than anything else. But for now, I'm going to put the camera down and uh, get this day over and done with. I do have about 25 minutes before we start, so once I open those uh, doors up, we'll go and get what we need to get for the morning and then uh, basically hit the road. honest, I don't know why I was complaining, but we are home, as it were, and uh, the day wasn't as bad as I thought, it was done pretty darn quick, to be honest, which is always good, the quicker we can get home, the better, and everything else in between, I think I'll have a little bit of a lie down, and everything else in between, considering it is about, what, 4.30 at the moment, so, yeah, I'll uh, go and have a little lie down, and figure out what we're going to have for dinner. Uh, I've got some frozen pizzas in the oven um, freezer, so I'll probably just chuck one of those into the into the oven. I think that will be the uh, best option at this point. Well, we've had a nap, we've had something to eat, and now it's time for bed. It is currently 20 to 10 of the night, and I've just come to a realisation of something uh, from earlier in the video, as you guys would have seen with the uh, lights in the sky. I should have put one of my GoPros out the back to do a dang time lapse. That would have been friggin' awesome. I will admit with the GoPros guys, they do phenomenal with night lapses. They do get quite a lot of light within the lens and everything else in between. They are a phenomenal bloody camera to have, especially for night lapses. It's just a bit of a bummer. I unfortunately, as you will hear in the video, I did forget to put one out and uh, have an awesome little time lapse. <clears throat> but in saying that, I was still pretty darn happy with uh, getting the lights either way for that night. I don't know why I didn't think of that until now, the night after. That sort of thing gives me the poopers, especially the afterthought when it comes to doing these sorts of things. Because it would have been awesome. It would have been absolutely awesome. Ugh. That's the thing about being a person like me, is you do not think of these things until after the fact. Ugh. Oh well, not much we can do about it now. <laughs> Anyways guys, I'm going to go to bed. I am very tired at the moment. Being up from 5 o'clock in the morning till 10 o'clock at night, it does take the wind out of one person. So 
I'll see you guys in the morning. Just like that we are on a Monday. Surprisingly enough, I'm not actually overly too tired, which is a bonus. I'm usually bloody wanting to have a snooze, but uh, not today. And I'm actually energised, surprisingly enough. I must have had a pretty good night's sleep last night, which is uh, which is a rarity. But I'm not going to sit here complaining about it because uh, I'll take whatever I can get. Mum and Dad are going to be home tomorrow night, which is going to be good to see them. Uh, I've also got to double check with the boss man to see what the deal is for uh, for tomorrow, because uh, he did state that uh, Tuesdays were a no-go for the time being but I'm scheduled on for Tuesday, so we'll see how things go today. I'll check the schedule and I'll ask them a question if it hasn't been altered in any way, shape or form to see what is going on. Mondays aren't usually too bad, to say the least. It's always good to uh, have this little thing that we do for uh, a few hours a day. Keeps the mental state uh, on its way. So. I'm pretty happy to say that uh, I'm willing to play. I also checked again last night to see if those lights were around. Unfortunately not. So I don't know when the next lot of lights are going to come through, whether or not we uh, will have an opportunity to see them again anytime soon. Might not be for another 20 odd years. Might not be for another 50 years. But I'm still kicking myself in the ass that I, uh, as you would say, didn't um, put a GoPro on night um, night laps because that would have been an absolute stunning uh, sight to see to say the least even if it was for 10 seconds to see the lights dancing around that would have been that would have been fantastic but it... just come to realize something guys I talk a lot of shit I mean a lot of shit I talk too, way too freaking much. Uh, I need to change that. Something chronic. Anyways, guys, can't change the past. It is what it is. It's stuck in its ways now. Decisions were made, or not made in this case. So, all we can do is just uh, get ourselves ready for work for today, and then we can just move on from there. So that's what we're going to do, we're going to put the camera down and then we'll go inside and get this day started without any more of me doing this as I always do. What a day guys, it's one of those quick days which is what we like, I had a couple of oopsies today too, first I forgot my wallet, second I forgot to make some lunch up for last night, so we are a bit as you would say hungry at the moment but uh, as you can tell Becky's pretty much set because she's got that little bit of uh, spinach right there which she absolutely loves she's uh, a bit like a kid she uh, has it from basically all over her face when she eats it so what we what we did was we checked again last night to see if there were any more of those lights that we saw there was nothing out the back I'll check again tonight see if there's anything else uh, tonight and if there is, I'm going to try and get some good photo, better photos than what I did because uh, they are up on Instagram as we speak so it's not like we uh, completely forgot to put them up there it's just they were a bit uh, bit dull in uh, checking them out they're better off on a big screen instead of a little screen and everything else in between so go check them out if you haven't already done so um, I'll put them on the end of this video so you guys can have a bit of a gander at them on, uh, on here, YouTube. And the last oopsie that we've done over the last uh, week or so is we forgot to uh, water the garden, which we uh, just did now. So uh, hopefully mum doesn't really notice that much that we forgot. But uh, yeah, looks like um, Becky wants to get out. So I think I'll take her inside and get her out of the cage. And while we're at it, we'll make some uh, some lunch. Sorry, it's just a little itty bitty baby spider sitting right between my feet at the moment. It's only like this big, so it's not like I'm going to be freaking out about that. Anyways, guys, I am going to put the camera down and everything else in between. We are going to uh, get some lunch 
enjoy the rest of the afternoon. Mum and Dad are going to be back tomorrow, which is a bonus for us because we are starting to get a bit lonely. So, yeah, I just want to get everything ready for them when they get home so they don't have to do anything along the sorts of doing dishes. But anyways, guys, I'm blabbing on too much as per the usual. I'll keep you guys up to date to see if uh, we see any more of those lights either way. But for now, guys, I'm going to put the camera down. In other words, I'm going to love yous and leave yous and everything else in between. Uh, just remember to get, get out there, have fun, uh, stay happy, stay positive and everything else in between. Until the next time, guys, keep it easy. That is pretty much it. I don't know what is going on with this damn thing right now, but uh, it's uh, not working properly. But anyways, oop, just turn the camera off. That'd be bloody right. Uh, there we go. The uh, everything's malfunctioning at the moment, which is not good. But, that is pretty much it guys, it is uh, definitely something of uh, a uh, cringy matter for what it's worth, to say the least. I will admit that uh, it's interesting to see back, uh, back at some old videos and some newer videos, and I've still got much to learn, I will admit right now, I've still got a lot to learn. But, it's all mainly about the fun. That is the reason why we do YouTube, is to have fun and everything else in between. Now, the reason why I want, decided to do this video is basically, uh, I saw it on somewhere, and uh, basically, the guy was saying, I challenge everyone to look back at their older videos, especially the first video that they put out and uh, basically look at the old video and look at the new video and basically have a cringe moment and I will admit <laughs> it was quite cringy <clears throat> but anyways guys I am blabbing on too much as usual I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as me uh, creating it. I uh, must admit I will need to do some improvements on how to do all these sorts of things. But uh, for now guys, I'm going to leave it at that. In other words, I'm going to love yous and leave yous. I wish to thank each and every one of you for being a part of these videos and this YouTube journey. And everything else in between, I do appreciate each and every one of you. But for now guys, I'm going to leave it at that. So thanks for watching. Uh, just remember to get out there. Be happy, be positive, and everything else in between. Till the next time, guys. Keep it easy.